monotowns were built all over the Soviet Union. There's about 400 existing monotowns right now in Russia. Now what's a monotown? A monotown is a town that's built to house the workers of a particular industry or a particular factory. Today we've come to a town called Karabanovo which had an absolutely huge paper factory but that has now closed. So what happens to a monotown when the factory closed? Let's find out. Village life is so peaceful. Different world. Check out how low these fucking wires are. That's crazy. Just imagine everything that's happened in here. All these tombstones, or gravestones, not a stone are they, so what do you even call it that? Check out this little room here. What was this? Was this the toilet? It's a dead end. Wow. Wow. Incredible. Look at that like metal thing hang from there. That just fell down now. Death by metal spike. We've got the anarchists have been here already, look. Wow, well, check out the... Amazing. So which window looks the best? We've got the old Soviet windows and then we've got some double glazing next to it. Contrasts. Check out the uh, car. I don't know if, uh, don't know what's happened here, but yeah, I wonder if anyone still lives in here. Pretty crazy, right? It surely must be abandoned. I mean, you could make a, a really cool Halloween film or something here. Oi, здравствуйте. Как дела? Хорошо. у вас вообще? Спасибо большое, А как вас зовут? Милена. Милена. Ой, такая красивая имя. Да, спасибо. А это не обычное имя такая это. Да, моя мама любит Италию, поэтому она так звала, да. Интересно. А вы здесь живёте, да? Да, я приехала к подруге, живу тут у неё пару дней. О, круто. У вас праздник или? Да, у неё день рождения. О, супер. Будем отмечать. Супер. Вас как зовут? Меня зовут Сэм. Очень приятно. А вы откуда? Я из Англии. Ага, из Англии я просто приехал сюда в гости, вот гуляю по деревне и да вот. Вау, очень здорово. Я очень люблю общаться с интересными людьми, вот да. очень прикольно, что вот я могу ходить и просто познакомиться с человеком по улице и пообщаться. Ну, это... Я не ожидала, конечно, что я вас тут увижу. Но очень интересно. Вы не похожи как бы отсюда, да, как, да. Будто, как будто из Москвы. Вы выглядите как будто из Москвы. А, это правда, я работаю в Москве, а -а -а. вот и приехал к подруге на несколько дней, чтобы увидеться, Ой. встретиться, да и отпраздновать. Круто, круто. Да, так что вы Угадали. Вот, отлично. А, а скажите, здесь чем-то заниматься вечером? Вообще-то есть куда-то ходить или... А, нет. нет да? На самом деле у нас план такой, что мы пожарим шашлыки ага. и вечером уже, когда будет ночь, пойдем смотреть на звездное небо, потому что ага. в Москве, например, этого не увидишь. О -о -о. Вот, будем фотографироваться, пойдем с большим фонарем, чтобы что-то увидеть, потому что освещения тоже совершенно нет. Ага. Вот, пойдем поближе к реке и там будем наслаждаться видами. Супа. И, да, отдыхать и природы, Супа. потому что я по природе очень соскучилась. О. А тут, конечно, она есть, и я ага. это обожаю. Отлично, отлично. Я вообще-то ищу сейчас место для палатки, может быть. Это хорошее место, где ну, поставить палатки да, и там ночевать, да, да? Да, да, там есть и холмы, и ага. достаточно такая пологая местность, поэтому Ой. вот подойдет, да, такая. Специально отлично. для палаток. Отлично, да, отлично, совет. хорошо. Ладно, да, спасибо. спасибо. Да, очень приятно да, было спасибо познакомиться. Большое. До Давайте, свидания. до свидания. Спасибо, всего хорошего. Вау, wow, check out the shop and check out this thing. That's incredible! Wow! You're not actually supposed to film these things at the moment. Um, but it's stunning here, so wow, that's absolutely incredible, isn't it? Check out the shop. Oh, I'd have loved to have gone in this shop when it was all working. But now all I care about is this thing. I want to find out who owns this thing. It's got to be living around here somewhere. I've got no idea really about cars. 
and it's actually looked from the Vladimir region because it's number 33. Okay, so the next job is to find the owner and uh, see if we can go out in this thing. This is crazy. Yeah, it's absolutely insane. I really want to... Oh man, this is so cool. So uh, now I need to go and try and find out who the owner is. <laughs> it's not like it's his shop and he's inside there. Well, he might own the building, but... We need to push out the wind. Is that the high design machine? It's a wash machine. Oh, oh, it's working. <laughs> wow. So this car's from 1958. Can you imagine 1958? It looks pretty cool now, but I can't imagine what it'd be like to drive. Oh. Pavel is such an amazing guy as well. Oh, he's going to open the engine for me to see. I'm going to pretend I know a lot about cars now. Wow. All these parts look original. That's mad. Got a few girls doing selfies. Let's have a look at the bridge. You know that I hate fucking bridges. But Pavel said to me, hey, you can go on the bridge if you want. I didn't want to look like a pussy. So here I am on the bridge. So Pavel actually uses this car for like weddings and different uh, celebrations and stuff and people can hire it. So he was uh, he's like really famous in this village as well. Wow, incredible. Oh, amazing. I need to start finding some better food or preparing my meals in advance. Welcome to Karabanova. Look what we've got here on the back of the sign. This says, enjoy your journey. And here we got the Soviet hammer and sickle. When we see that, we know we're in for a good day. What a kid's playground. And someone sprayed a number two on here. Check out the car with these massive wheels on it. And look at that, look at his sticker. I can see people have written these number twos everywhere. I don't know what the building is, but it, it seems to be maybe creating some power, some sort of generator. Check out the chimney. Right in the middle of the areas where people are living. Check out the village basketball court. Well, it's not really a village, but oh dear. Hmm. Oh my word, someone's stolen the swings or removed them. What's that all about? There's no swings on the swings. So here we are at the abandoned paper factory. So here, look, it says in this building of the 30th of August or the 12th of September, I don't know why that is in brackets, in 1917 was the first meeting, first organized meeting of the party. Wow. You can see it's been all bricked up here. I bet the local kids have been inside messing around and there's a sign saying, you can't go inside, the building is in a dangerous state. We come to Kadda, it's a diesel sugar one, right? It's a fabric, isn't it? It's not a fabric. Ah, it's a home, is it? It's a house, people lived here. Ah, yeah. The Туда надо комбинат где-то. А, комбинат там ломают, да? там ломают, а, его понятно. сейчас носят там. А, это просто жилой дом, да? Да. А, жилой, вау. потом училище было. Ага. Здесь а. вот стены какие, вот. Да, вот, да, вот, так жалко, что... Стены широкие. Блин. Да, да, да. Так жалко, что такая состояние, Да, конечно. вот пропадает, вот стоит. Угу. Так бы можно было, это... конечно, сделали бы. Вот, вот дом построил Баранов. 
А -а -а. Красивый дом, конечно, снаружи Но красивый. Он изжил себя. Да. Но стены, наверное, такие толстые, да? Да, метровые. Два метровые, да? Два метровые, да. А вы здесь живете, да, в этот дом, да? да? А, -а, -а. а вы раньше работали в э, фабрике тоже, или? Работали. Да. А как жизнь раньше была? Конечно, отличается. Раньше лучше жили. Лучше, а да? Здесь, конечно. Ну, сейчас нам восстанавливают там часто. Ага. Мы не знаем, как оно там все дальше да. пойдет. Ну, тот дом признан сейчас аварийным. Вот мы признали. Ждем расселения. Когда будет расселение, наша ага. местная администрация в сторону дома расселили. Вот видите, дом у нас был ага. один. Это единый, как бы, ну, и с той стороны, с той, ту часть уже расселили. Сейчас эту будут расселять, только когда. Вау. Wow. Now I've just noticed we've got a cap on top of there and I'm hoping no one's fallen out these windows and landed up there, look. Let me know in the comments what you think of this building. I think it's incredible. Now I've realized that I'm going to have to go back the other way to the car because I can hear the people talking in the distance about, oh, should I have uh, spoke to him on camera? Oh, should I not do that? Or should I delete it? So I don't want them to actually come to me and say, delete what we've, you filmed, right? So I'm going to have to go the other way back to the car. K and N. Who's K? Katia and... Well, who's N then? So I've got suspicious people in this town so far. They seem pretty nice and relaxed, but very suspicious of me. Shall I risk my life and go inside the building? Well, let's go and have a quick look. You can probably see that anything worth nicking has already been nicked a long time ago. Wow, it's pitch black. Should have brought the other camera with me. That looks like a death trap. Got to make sure I don't stand on a nail. That would be the worst thing in the world. Still got a few things look on the shelf. Few jars. At one point this would have been someone's kitchen maybe. Just loads of junk. You can see over there, look, a, a Rybalka Krugly God, which means fishing all year round. What's going on here? We've had more swings stolen. So from what I can understand, there's the new part of town, which is all clean and nice. And then there's the old part of town, which is these houses here that are next to the abandoned factory. Some of them are in a livable state and some of them are completely abandoned. Wow, so fascinating, isn't it? I mean, I bet all the local kids have been in and out of here hundreds of times, but to someone who's coming here for the first time, it's uh Look, no one's stolen the, the notice board. That's lived through all the times. We've got part of a piano down there. Да, я знаю, да. Как там обанкротилась, там московская трехгорка, конечно, была в работе. А этот дом у нас выселили. Он будет под снос. Очень жалко, он красивый. Очень красивый, да? Очень, очень красивый. Какой красный. Вот аналогичный дом. Вот. И внизу маленький там домик аналогичный. Этот новый дом. А вы помните, когда это все было действующее все? Или это очень давно уже? Я здесь 36 лет знаю, конечно, знаю. Здесь мало семейки, комнатки. Ага. Вот, оборудовали как квартирки, делали mm -hmm. кухню свою, ванну делали свою. Ну, жили люди на комбинате, работали. Ага, понятно. Они дали им квартиру за то, что они там работали, да? Здесь комнаты mm -hmm. были. А, Изначально комнаты, да? Комнаты, а потом ага. их сделали как квартиры. Вот. Это эта сторона. Mm -hmm. А далее... Mm -hmm. Там был дом ветеранов. Это люди пожилые, кто ага. на комбинате работал, ага. им там давали жилье. Mm -hmm. И там несколько семей еще живут. А вы до... Вы сказали, 36 лет назад сюда приехали, да? А до этого вы где жили? Красноярск. Красноярск? Сибирь. О, а как так получилось, что вы э, приехали именно вот сюда, из Красноярска? Здесь родители супруга. Значит, Я хотел спросить, да, там, там красивый, да, вот это, и там менталитет другой совсем, да? да? Работала я mm -hmm. на теплоходе, Антон mm -hmm. Чехов. Здесь сейчас... раньше был какой-то рай, маленький кусочек рай, а сейчас... Раньше было да, красиво, мы да. приехали сюда как сказка. Mm -hmm. Здесь кругом все стояли, какие-то эти фигурки, ага. вот здесь 
как правильно сказать, мальчик с волейболом. А -а -а. Комбината Ленин, а -а -а. памятник. Вау. Потом что-то девочка с тканью, а -а -а. по-моему, по-моему, если не ошибаюсь. Там космонавт. При въезде Лоси, маленький Васенок, а -а -а. это все были эти вот. Ладно, я погуляю немножко. Очень приятно было спасибо, пообщаться. Спасибо. Вам спасибо, спасибо. До свидания. До свидания. So I've just been well approached by a lady on a bike to tell me or ask me what I'm doing in here and what's going on and why I'm filming and stuff. I think she's just worried. She said that yesterday there was a big fire inside. So she said, you know, don't get caught up in another fire. Are you here? She asked me, am I here to set fires? Now the building over this fence looks really interesting. Maybe a house of culture or something like that. Let's see if I can find a way in. Wow, it looks incredible. It seems I'm almost being followed everywhere I go. There's a woman hiding just behind that tree over there. Perhaps the locals are well, tired of people coming and setting fires and endangering themselves and others. So they just kind of keep an eye out for everything. And some of these houses, well, you can see that they're being lived in still and people probably stick their head out the window and see a tall English guy with a camera walking around and, uh, well, yeah, send their friends to come and check on me. Here's the local pool. Just found the most, well, unromantic place to sit and have a picnic. This must be high up on the unromantic list. If you brought your future wife here to propose, well, you can tell that the locals are really proud of where they live. And look, they're making a real effort to make things look good. Look, we've got a, an elephant here and a sunshine made from all these reusable home products. Check out the wellies used as plant pots. Wow, and we've even got, look, a toilet there being reused. Check that out, it's incredible. With big spoons coming out of it and the top half of the toilet next to it over there. Always a bit eerie walking around here, especially when there's these massive holes that you could just fall into and I wonder how long this has been abandoned for, the bricks actually look quite new, which um, is strange. But nothing inside to see at all. I'm not even going to go down there. A piece of living history right here. The hammer and sickle and the star. Here we've got the entrance to the factory. And it says, Moi Combinat, Maya Gordas, which means like, my factory, my pride. I bet at one stage it would have been really just peaceful and, and amazing here really with the trees when they'd all be green and yeah now it's all of course boarded up administration look it says here this was put up 50 years after the great revolution in October 1917 wow check this out so this is how the people would have come in and out, but the clock is still working, that's incredible. I glaub nicht, hat Billet Tam da, and he, oh, and yet, and he won't take fish leader to down the territory, ne? I tam the piece in Musee, to the boy. Slav, ne? Wow. Wow, what an incredible lady. I didn't film her because, well, you know, she's kind of working here, but. Wow, what an incredible lady I spoke to for a while. She told me the history and stuff. I'd have loved to have gone through to the other side, but she said, you know, people go through there, they start fires, do stuff. So that's why I'm here to stop people going through onto the territory. So in here would have been housed the machines, possibly, quite possibly the fire department so that they could get access to the rest of the town if they needed to. When you see a wall like this, you know that it's something built in the Soviet Union. It's a Soviet wall. And this would have been, look, the main entrance. Look at the glass windows up there, and you can see it says, look, built in 1973 and 1974. Absolutely hate bridges. Absolutely hate them. There's no way I'm going to walk over it. But here you go. A little bit of a, a river trying to see if I can sneak in the other way. I'm walking around the side of this river and by the side of this wall, let's see where it leads to. It looks as though the locals walk around here with the dog. 
it looks like there might be a way. But I've been told they're tearing the factory down. So this might be the last chance anyone gets to film. So there's a guy on a crane behind here. I don't want him to see me. This is what we've got left of the factory. So there we go. I got here just in time to get the last few shots of what was once an incredible Soviet factory of Karabanovo where thousands of Soviet citizens worked who lived in this town and now, well, these are the remains. Wow, look at the House of Culture. It says Klub up there, which is club, obviously. And it's still got a lot of its old Soviet charm. Let's go and look inside, see what's going on. Oh, wow. Check it out. I wonder how long that has been there. Wow, incredible. And the piano. That's really amazing. Love will have seen. Absolutely insane. Wow, look at these paintings, absolutely insane. So the security guard just came and asked me a few questions, but everything's okay. Wow, wonder how long these have been here for. I feel very privileged just to be able to go inside here and, and just walk around and see the things that, well, it's just, just incredible. I'm so, I'm so pleased. Look at the Serbia double glazing up there. This once would have been, wow. It still is a piece of art, but check out the, those walls up there. Wow, little corridor. Whoa, got an idea. I wonder if, hmm. <laughs> Normal, normal. The Russian bicycle. Oh, I don't have to be for post the Oh, blin. Nothing strange. How did you get up? How No, I felt like a lot of massa. Yeah, very interesting. Don't forget the experience like an attraction. It's better than an attraction. Yeah. It didn't work as I wanted, of course. No, no, nothing. And in the evening, you said that на шашлик да, с подругой, да, да на день рождения. Можешь приходить с нами. А Пойдем можно, да? да конечно, Ой, я хотел бы, конечно. Классная компания, да. Приходите. Ой, да. Да. А да. то я хотел сказать, что ты очень красивый просто, безумно. Я не ожидал, Спасибо. что в деревне я могу э, познакомиться с такой девушкой. Конечно, я понимаю, что вы не из деревни, да, но да. все равно вот очень приятно. У нас будет в компании очень много красивых девушек О. и тоже, тоже классных парней, поэтому приходи. О, отлично, вот, хорошо. Давайте пообщаемся, подружимся. Отлично. Да, Спасибо. Да, Спасибо.